Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. Of course, I want to start off by saying, Call Haloyim, Yahab Bashmi Oshai. Call Haloyim, Yahab Bashmi Oshai, Bashmi Kal Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim out there and the elect. Of course, that's the men, women, and children selected to make it out of here from the coming destruction, all right? I'm the brothers of Yan Olive, the DC camp. Just coming at you with another video. I saw this and I figured, you know, hey, I should let Israel know in the spirit, man. Let Israel know what's going on, all right? Because we all know about the murder hornet, all right? The, the, the uh, sudden rise of the murder hornet. Now we have something else on top of that, all right? And this new bug is nothing but what another plague happening, all right? This is um, the murder hornet isn't the only giant bug to worry about. Meet the gypsy moth, okay? It says gypsy moth or Asian gypsy moth, okay? It says, add another giant bug to the list of things Washington State is working to handle right now. Earlier this week, scientists said they had spotted Asian giant hornets in the state, and it's still unknown how they got there. Now there's another threat, a non-native gypsy moth. So this it's non-native to this land, and all of a sudden it's got here, all right? Ulti ultimately, the Lord is allowing these things to come into America, while either it be Esau, you know, uh, unleashing these beasts in different areas, he's still allowing these plagues to hit, you know, America, okay, all right, it says, um, now there's another threat, a non-native gypsy moth, okay, such a threat, in fact, that Washington State Governor Jay Inslee issued an emergency proclamation because of the creatures, saying there was an imminent danger of infestation of an infestation of the plant pest in parts of Snohomish County, if I'm saying that right. It says this imminent danger of infestation seriously endangers the agricultural and horticultural industries of the state of Washington and seriously threatens the economic well-being and quality of life of state residents, the, pro the proclamation said. Salakia. All right. You see that? So that's what it says. The threat is posed by both Asian gypsy moths and Asian European hybrid gypsy moths, according to the pro proclamation. All right. You see that? So now on top of the uh, Asian myrtle hornet, you have this Asian gypsy moth. OK. All right. And what do moths do? They eat up a lot of crops. All right. And what is that? That leads towards the famine. You have the myrtle hornets that what they say is going to kill off the honeybee population and the honeybees populate the different herbs that what uh, uh, lead towards what um, their well-being and growth. And we get to uh, pick these herbs for our consumption. And then now you have this uh, what um, Asian gypsy moth. OK. All right. And let me get the scriptures. This is um, Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse uh and I'll start at, uh, it says, uh, as before, right? Yeah, this is 2nd Ezra 15 and verse uh, 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and will smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof, okay? So guess what? A plague is exactly that. A plague is a murder hornet. Okay. A murder hornet is a plague. And you notice it says plagues with an S. Okay. Plagues, part of the plague is a murder hornet. The other part is what? This new uh, Asian gypsy moth. That's another plague. All right. And it's smiting Egypt just like it did it before. Okay. All right. And who, what's the new Egypt? America. All right. Let's go to... um. The book of Exodus is Exodus 10 and verse um, 12. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt for the locust, all right, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hell have left. Okay? See? So the locusts came and ate all the herbs of the land of Egypt, okay? And what did that bring? That helped aid towards a famine, okay? Because lack of food to eat, all right? So let's go back 
the second Ezra, okay, 15, chapter 15, I'm going to go up some, all right? It says, um, matter of fact, uh, verse uh, 4, it says, for all the unfaithful, all right, not faithful, okay, shall die in their unfaithfulness, okay? Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, plagues with an S, okay, multiple things, all right? The sword, that's a plague. Famine, that's a plague. Death is a plague and destruction is a plague, okay? All right? The sword is coming. Famine is definitely coming. Why? Because what? A lot of herbs, a lot of things are being taken up out of here, man, okay? They're already um, um, slaughtering the animals, slaughtering the cows. There's not enough beef to go around, okay? And soon you're going to see this real soon, all right? When you go into the regular supermarkets and there's no beef, just like on those Wendy's uh, signs, okay? All right? That's a part of that famine. And guess what? Um, it's going to hit the herbs and stuff as well, like we just talked about. We talked about beef and all that uh, slightly, but guess what? It's going to hit these herbs when these different uh, moths go around eating up all the herbs, man. All right? No honeybees being around to uh, um, to to what uh, pollinate these herbs, man. You see? So verse 5 again, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. And famine is definitely coming, man. All right. The second verse 16. All right. It says, um, I'll start at verse 3. It says, matter of fact, verse 1, woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. And all these are what? These are code names for America. Okay. All right, America is an embodiment of all these things, man. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back. A fire is sent among you and who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away? So you're not going to stop these plagues that's coming, man. All right. Why? Because it's meant for your destruction. All right. The Lord is sending these plagues to you. All right, like he did before in the ancient world, man. Okay, all right, because the spirit of Egypt is on on America again. All right, it says, um, verse six: May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, or may any one quench the fire and stubble when it have begun to burn. All right, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent up the plague. So it's Yahweh Hashem Shai that's sending these different plagues, man. All right. Why? Because he's fed up with this new Egypt. He's fed up with America's time to go, man. All right. The mighty Lord sent up the plagues and who is he that can drive them away? All right. And like I said, another one of these plagues. All right. Is the what? The new Asian gypsy moth. All right. Look at this damn thing. Look how huge it is. See? All right. Call Halloyim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. May we be may we be kept as the apple of his eye. May may the elect, okay, may may we be of that elect to be kept as the apple of his eye, to be precious in his sight, that we may be delivered from this, man. Alright? Call Halloyim Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kokodash, and that's always to the elect a double shalom.